So the next curse, I think we should definitely spend some time on to it. These next two curses. So uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 28, it says, The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee. So this is where I want to pull up the Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because when I was reading it, I was like, damn, this was a fucking fire breakdown. Focus on 28 and 29. When it says, and thou shalt grope at noonday. Think about noonday. That's when the sun is up at 12 o'clock noon. And you're as blind as grope in the darkness. So how can you be blind during the day? Because there's something right in your face, but you can't see it. So when you read the breakdown, it says, that is being in darkness through the loss of their sight. Otherwise, the darkness and the light are the same thing. So these people, they grope in one as well as the other. This shows the darkness and blindness of the Jews is to be understood not of the darkness of their eyes, but of their minds. They're not able to understand or form a judgment of things that are as clear as noonday. And being at the utmost loss, what must is to take and pursue when they are plain and manifest be before them, but being infatuated and besotted, they follow the lust and the counsel of their own hearts, which lead them wrong. Now, look, my nigga, I'm a real, bro. There's no group of people outside of our people that that applies to, bro. How many times have you told niggas? The system is not for you. Think about the truth. You niggas all had a Bible in your in your house, but how come you never understood the truth? The truth, bro. I've read Deuteronomy four times as a kid, and I always fell asleep every single time. I didn't know this was talking about me or my nation and people. The Most High was so cold with it. Wait, dude, man, I'm gonna I'm give shit. But the Most High was so cold with these curses. He gave you the truth in the book that you had in your in your entire life. You went to church every day. You never actually picked it up and understood it. Think about our people's affliction. These niggas see the government is kidnapping your people. They're raping your your women, bruh. They're, they're, they're destroying you. They're, they're putting you at the bottom. You can show these niggas the facts every single day. But why is it that these niggas still go back to it? We can show niggas it's a 99.97% chance of passing COVID. Why can't, I mean, C-Virus, why can't these niggas, you know, hearken on to that? Because the most high is blocking them. So something you can literally just open your eyes and look and see what's going on, see who you really are. But the fact is, is that because you're not hearkening on to the most high, he has, he has put you spiritual blindness, not physical blindness, but spiritual blindness. You want to add in, bro? Since you, and it even goes together when you look at the rest of the verse, it says, thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Why can't you prosper? Because you can't see what's right in front of you. Right. So all, all, when you ask the average black person, they'll be like, why are we suffering? Why can't we get to the condition we are? But then you try to explain to them it's because we're cursed and we have to follow God's law, statutes, commandments, so we're Israelites. But nah, man, that's not it. That's not it, man. We just, you know, got to keep fighting for equality, man. You know, things like that. But it's just like, bro, you don't understand, man. <laughs> When a heart going through the end when it says no man shall save thee the lord says that no man shall save you what do blacks love to say what they they love to say oh man he could do it for us joe biden can save us oh, every god, save every you. election yeah. They, yeah. they swear the next president is going to be their goddamn savior obama <laughs> oh fuckers even even when trump got elected actually yeah trump, most people most black people wanted hillary to win man but, oh, even, trump, but, even, but even some black people with trump the second time man exactly you know, you know? Bro, the fact that Trump won and not Hillary, that was, I feel like that was God having mercy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Uh, uh, it was up, though. It was just set up, though, because it, it was to lull niggas to sleep, so that way they'll vote for Biden. This nigga just, it could implement whatever the fuck he wants. Exactly, man. Because to be honest, bro, I, even before I was in the truth, bro, I was just like, Hillary Clinton? That damn devil. <laughs> like, I just couldn't get understand stand certain people, especially a lot of black women. They're like, you know, we have to vote for the lesser of two evils. But I was I was young enough. I understood enough. It's like you just want a woman to be president. He ain't gonna fool me with exactly, all that lesser exactly, two exactly. evils. Exactly. <laughs> it Not everything's a damn a fucking social statement, man. This is about running a country. Yeah, and she was sloppy with them damn emails. But yeah, let's go back to scriptures. And, and real quick, though, Randy asked. Uh, do you guys think that with the fact that a lot of our people eat swine, shellfish, and other forbidden foods that might be a cause for those diseases? Yeah, yeah. That, that is a yeah, cause. Of course, yeah. When it comes to high cholesterol, yeah. cancer, the, the, our, our women are the most obese women on the planet, man. 
<laughs> like it's because of our diet. Like you can look this up yourself. The average black woman weighs, weighs more than the average man. Period. <laughs> and, and a lot of them, they have skin right. problems, man. It's average black woman is about five, five four, no, two hundred pounds. And the average man is <laughs> you about seeing... five, seven, one sixty. Exactly. <laughs> you be seeing like these chicks on YouTube that be having like the mukbang videos where they be having these this big old like like lobster or crab. Well, I don't know what the fuck that shit is. Like this big old um, yeah, like shellfish. crab legs and shit. Crab legs, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they be dipping it in the sauce and eat. Oh man, Just lobster, blood. crawfish, clam, oysters, oysters, yeah. And that's all the blood and, that's and the why food. Be having all kind of skin problems, man. Eczema mm-hmm. and stuff. Ever since I started following the dietary law, bro. My yeah, skin my skin's been clean, man. Yeah, bro, it's, it's been way better. And I got that. I got that golden brown skin now, man. Yep, con. A lot of black shit. Exactly, bro. A lot of black. A lot of uh, Jake's coming up, man. You know, um, you know, have eczema as a child, and man, it because the mom, you know, be on that on that nigga diet, man. I'm garbage, to be honest. <laughs> you know, it's just so you, you get birth and you got all these skin diseases and all that because you know the womb that you went in was full of you know uncleanliness, man. Exactly. And this is one of the important aspects of, you know, a part of the family when the woman used to be able to cook. Nowadays, exactly. a lot of dudes just eat fast food all the time. Like, mm-hmm. I know plenty of brothers, you know, they'll uh, have like uh, cereal for breakfast or an Arby's for dinner <laughs> <laughs> every day, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or Burger King for dinner every day. Yeah, as opposed to they just occasionally. They don't want to talk about that, though. They want to be like, oh, you know, women are oppressing us and fat shaming us because I'm an ugly. <laughs> Let me show that. <laughs> you know, how, how about you, you know, get on a diet, work out? <laughs> hey, but, well, uh-huh. Honestly, shoot, yeah. you got to learn how to cook, man. Cook for yourself, man. That's well, what I do. The you want to understand, too, is 328. It says the Lord shall smite you with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. I mean, let's just, I mean, bro. That's another curse too, man. Cause honestly, bro, uh, brothers, brothers, brothers are are going mad out here. They walk, They have a lot of fear in their heart, man. Bro, I remember yeah, every day, bro. I was driving uh from like Target or something, bro, and I was at a stoplight, and a, and a police officer put her right next to me, and there was like a couple. So this bitch was uh knocking on this nigga door, like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Why aren't you?" Da 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 da. And that nigga just peeled off. This bitch started screaming like, ah! like he literally was screaming in the middle of the fucking street, like losing her mind. I'm like, damn, nigga. And it was so ironic because I was reading Deuteronomy. I'm like, bro, our people are literally losing their fucking minds, bro. Like, if you look at a lot of these old women, these old men, and you know, these, you know, they be they just being been through so much shit and so much affliction. You could just look at their mental space that they're losing their fucking mind, bro. Like, mm-hmm. if we being honest, bro. If you look at most homeless people, they're they're quote unquote jakes. But you notice how them niggas have gone mad. You notice how the niggas are not there mentally, bro. A lot of our people have learning disorders. A lot of our people, you know, they can't comprehend things. A lot of brothers that we know and love, bro, who just aren't all there mentally, bro. Like you'll be like, yo, are you good? And the nigga will just be slow and he'll just be They'll be like, huh? Yeah, bro. Like you you notice that with a lot of our people, man. And to be quite honest with you, man, it's a heavy curse that's placed upon us from the most high, man. And, and and not only with that, but, you know, again, the blindness just goes into 28 and 29. You know, they kind of go in together, bro. And also, you know, when it comes to our affliction where, you know, when we're in a certain community, bro, and, you know, niggas is, is chilling with game bangers, not knowing these niggas trying to set you up. You know, the police will pull you over and you just, you just par- like you said, you been, you just paranoid and you just scared for your life for no fucking reason. That's the curse placed upon us by the most high, bro. Oh, exactly, bro. And I'll give an example of, of myself, bro, where I learned never again. I remember one time, this was, I, I believe after, I forget which nigga got shot, but this is back in like 2017, 2018. So niggas were driving, man. We get, uh, I get pulled over by the cops and I was having my friend drive my mom's car because I, I was just tired for some reason. So like, they're just like, David, uh, is there the registration in this car? I'm like, fuck, I, I, I'm i not sure. So we, when we got pulled over, the cop comes to the door and I shit you not, niggas had our hands in the air. <laughs> <laughs> in the car, like, I, pulled, like, we, I pulled my phone out my pocket I put it in the dashboard 
My other friend pulled his phone out his pocket, put it on the dashboard. He had his hands up. There was a third nigga in the backseat with his hands up. And then we were just looking at the cop. And he was just like, uh, can y'all put the window down? And then like, we, we snapped back to reality and we're just like, oh yeah, yeah. And he was just like, license and registration. I checked the glove. I was like, it's right here. And my friend was driving. So I just explained, yeah, um, this is my mother's car. I, I let my friend drive and, and, he, and the cop, you know, it did all his information, gave us back to us, gave him a ticket and we went on our way. But like, while we were waiting for him, we just started busting out laughing because we realized in our mind, how foolish we were doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like the cop hadn't even approached this. We didn't commit a crime. Like it was just a, a, a simple um, a ticket stop. But this is back when niggas were in high school. So like literally, it, it like after that moment, I was like, never again. I can't let what I see on TV or, or the media program my mind like that. Because like I had been pulled over before. I had never done shit like that. I just, you know, I just give the cop my information and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? And, and one thing you brothers gotta understand is uh, with the most high, how he works is he mocks you brothers through satire. I mean, if you brothers look at Boondocks, you look at uh, the Wayne brothers, you look at uh, Everybody Hates Chris, you look at all these shows where it talks about the quote unquote black man, you know, Hispanic as well, but they really harp on the black man because that's the true, true, the true essence of, you know, the most high in his people is uh you start to understand that they're mocking you so again the most high controls the tv you know obviously esau is the one who he's working through but it's really the most high mocking you niggas and and programming you to think a certain way because he, he curses you through the tv through the phone through the social media if you look at our people on tiktok you look at our people on instagram these niggas are so fucking indoctrinated and they're just making a mockery of themselves because the most high put that spirit on them to do that shit that's another curse we don't get into that too but I, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself man my bad bro. yeah like, yeah i don't know you can you cooking though you cooking man Lord, that's, that's Lord, sometimes man. how you gotta bring it out we gotta bring it out with our words yeah and then show them in the scriptures let, let them know it's both and then we can repeat our words so it gets mm -hmm. stuck in these niggas' heads. Y'all niggas gonna learn today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, uh, and, and real quick, uh, Switch, you wanna add something? I think you gonna say something? Yeah, I got a, I got a precept. Um, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the forward is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret, his secret is with the is his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked. But he blessed the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. So we see, you know, that we see the, the dichotomy between, you know, um following after the ways of the oppressor and following after, you know, you know, which those those ways are an abomination and following, you know, just ways, you know, um, which that's the way that's the way of the Lord which will inherit which will, you know, cause us to you know, inherit righteousness. But the scriptures say, you know, um, um, in Deuteronomy 28, that the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. You know, that, and that goes into Jake following after the ways of the oppressor, man, because, you know, that's one of the curses, man. You know, following after, you know, whatever, whatever rulish, whatever ruler, you know, during that particular time period. But right now it's Esau Edom. So Jake is falling after the words of Esau Edom. And that's, you know, going to lead Jake to a way of abomination. Man. But the righteous, you know, going to be able to get, you know, the secrets of the Most High. It says that the, the curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked. You know, so they go, that goes back to the curses, how following after the ways, you know, of the of the oppressor is one of the ways that the Most High has, has, uh, has blinded Jake. To view them as you know as a man to be followed a man to yeah a man to give you wisdom and understanding instead of the most high directly and, and that goes to the curse that they said that our king would would uh follow another man i mean it, exactly. all this green in man it, it's crazy yes, but um exactly i want to yes, exactly. go ahead and move my fucking death on my soul so, uh, i remember lucy like it was his yesterday lucy. the way she came to where she say why she manipulated lucy. lucy wasn't playing made me want to go and see lucy, lucy. Sweet Lucy, I'm gonna miss